Alright, we've all seen it. The cringy back to school videos where the students that suck up to the teachers try to slap together a banger for the school rules. These horror films contain teachers massacring every dance move, horrible acting, and a clinically depressing attempt at pop culture. Well, now they've done it. Now the media is fighting back and saying no to the teachers dabbing. Let's have a look. Well, the whole school saw it. Now the principal tonight is apologizing after getting a lot of complaints that it was sexist and also that it sent the wrong message to students. Wait, you mean to tell me these news fire huffers aren't trying to slander these teachers, but they're trying to team with them? The first was pretty generic, just what to wear and what not to wear. Go ahead and take a look at part of the second one. Live fast, die young, bad girls, do it well. Live fast. Look, I'm going to be real you, Chief. I don't know how out of touch you are, but I've been to three different high schools and this is not what girls wear. Last time I checked, it was a federal offense to wear Jesus sandals without a spin-off Mean Girls cast summoning to pummel you into oblivion. Okay, ladies. Okay, ladies. Follow me. Okay, ladies. Okay, ladies. Okay, ladies. Follow me. The only real reason they played that good old knee-slapping suspense sound was because somebody allowed a fat old Kathy Williams into their video. Then you know the media's gonna be sucking up to it. The girls are taken to a dress code violators room filled with only other girls. Repeat after me. I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say this is gonna be an entire new story on sexist school dress code stereotypes. I've seen boys who wear tank tops. I've seen boys whose pants are sagging and showing their underwear band, and that's also not in dress code, but that wasn't a- So in this scenario, the ginger Betty White steps out of her office, lasso and all, ready to whip these girls standing in a V formation, wearing Jesus sandals, the same poser fishing t-shirts, and she whips them into a line and herds them down to a room filled to the brim with other girls. There we have it folks, from Christopher Min's Plaza's daughter herself. Men also wear tank tops with spaghetti straps, Jesus sandals, and show their bras. In Catherine Mooring's eyes, the video- The girl you chose to speak on the subject about dress code is wearing a turtleneck, and pajama pants during a Texas summer. It shows a double standard in the student dress code and how society treats men and women. We should be more educated on women's rights. We should be more educated on sexualization and rape culture because that's what all of this really boils down to is that somewhere a group of people agreed that this was okay to show and there wasn't one. What a lot of these feminist toe jam suckers don't understand is that women do have equal rights. So her theory is everyone is out to get her because she has a vagina. The only reason she's going to get a wage gap is because she's mentally retarded and the only reason that they would hire her is because they feel bad for her. The person who said, you know, maybe we shouldn't do this. The principal also told parents, I'm a firm believer that when you make a mistake, you own it. You apologize and you make it right. They're all shoving the stick up their pitless bungholes because the cast of this fine Sundance film is all women. Let's, let's just use our minds for a second here, okay? Behind the camera, do you really think that three guys came up with this idea? No, it was obviously a group of girls who made this. Don't tell me that a couple guys behind a camera grouped up to get 20 girls and they all agreed to make this film. Simple. Made by women for women. Now we're also told tonight that the principal has met with some of the young women at the school who were offended by the video. The students say they are very happy that the student, or uh, rather that the principal has been open to listening to them and they feel he has taken ownership for what has happened. Don't worry, don't worry. The principal rounded up all the sensitive prissies of the school, lightly caressed their peanut brains, and made them happy. Here's that attention you wanted. And that's a wrap, fellas. Follow me on Twitter. Deuces.